Didier at Didier Mortgage. Let's talk about that non-QM loans, the loans that are outside the box. Now, when we got through April and May with the COVID, we had everything shrunk up. A lot of these lenders went out of business. They couldn't get their loans off the line. They weren't marketable. So really it just shrunk, nothing happened. But now they're starting to come back a little bit. And what kind of product is that? And what does that mean for you? Well, non-QM loans are non-qualified mortgages. So basically, you know, you have to do bank statement loans. If you get a profit and loss signed off by a CPA, they'll use that in lieu of income on tax returns. Now they're not doing the no doc loans, uh, but they are doing bank statement loans. So if you have a business, you are self-employed or 1099, and you do a lot of write-offs and your income doesn't show very much after you get all your adjustments done, you can do a bank statement loan. So they'll take your 12 months or 24 months business bank statements, give you like 50% of what you bring in in deposits on average and use that as your income. Uh, credit scores have jumped up. They used to be a lot lower, but got 680 or better. They've got a lot of overlays with the non-QM loans that have come back in the market, but it's just an alternate way of getting financing if it's not working for you via tax returns. You're gonna put more money down. You have a bump and increase in the rate. They offer 30 years or a five one arm, but maybe an opportunity to look at it so you can get into that home. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to if you didn't show the income. So Didier at Didier Mortgage, just bringing to you non-QM is back. A little more rules, regulations, overlays, but for the self-employed that write everything off, a great opportunity. Thanks for tuning in this week and have a great day.